Hello. In this video, we're going to be talking about the cosine ratio, which is one of the primary trigonometric ratios in right triangles. Okay, so as we saw in a previous video, when you have a triangle, you have to look at what are the different values that have been given to you, and then from there you can consider different tools to be able to solve the rest of the unknown values. So I'm going to tell you that these are right triangles that I've drawn here. And I'm going to label some of the points. So point A, point B, point C. I'm going to do the same thing down here. And I'm using capital letters because I'm naming vertices, I'm naming points. The side opposite each of those angles is going to be the lowercase letter. So small a across from capital A, lowercase b across from angle B. And that's the naming convention for shapes in general. Okay, so the cosine ratio refers to when you consider an angle as your reference angle. So I'm going to start with A here, first letter of the alphabet. So I'm looking out from this point of view. Sine, if you remember from previous video, was going straight across to the side opposite and then to the hypotenuse. Cosine does a little curve. It's going to drop down and look at the side that is adjacent first. So it's going to go refer to B, and then to the hypotenuse. If I was looking at it from the point of view of angle B, looking out this way, I'm going to go to the leg right next door, or adjacent, and then across to the hypotenuse. So cosine of angle A is B over C. And in this case, this, the measurements for those sides, B is 10 centimeters long, A is seven and a half, and C is 12 and a half. If you were given two of the three, you could solve for the third using Pythagorean theorem, of course. Okay, so in this case, if I'm going B over C to get my cosine ratio, then cosine A is 10 over 12.5, which I can turn into a decimal value. Point eight. And at this point, this is where I have to use the calculator. In order to get the angle size, the size of angle A in degrees, I need the calculator to retrieve from a table that's in its memory the value for which angle will generate a cosine of point eight. There's literally a, a table of values that has been programmed into the memory of this calculator. And it has a column for cosine, a column for sine, and a column for tangent values. So I'm using cosine in this case. So I'm going to go second function cosine. And I'm going to ask for what's the degree value that generates 0.8. And it tells me that angle A Thirty-six point eight seven. I'm rounding to two decimal places. Okay, so it's telling me that that's this angle measure in degrees. Degree sign there. 
Okay, if I went from angle B and use cosine to find angle B, it's going to look very similar. So cosine B. The leg next door or adjacent was length A, so that was 7.5. And the hypotenuse is C. C was 12 and a half. for angle B, again, I'm going to need to use a calculator and ask it to look in that table. So I'm going to say, retrieve from the table, which angle generates a value of 0.6. So my second function, cosine, 0.6, and it says 53. Point one to three is the angle B up in this top corner. So I can use if I add these three together, they should add up to one hundred and eighty. Thank you.